If it's... I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. They say Folion of Morthal has studied vampires, Draugr, and all matter of undead. The companions? In Jorvaskur? They're recruiting new members from what I've been hearing some strange tales of the Jarl's children. Say the one's turning wicked, and the others have an ill-favored look to them. Best to keep clear. Need anything else? Just let me know. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? We had that beast contained, and you released it. Why? Why would you do that? May the gods watch over your battle. Yes, my youngest son. He's a dark child. I don't know what to do with him. He was always a quiet lad, but lately, something has changed. He's become brooding, violent. He won't say a word to me. But I don't know how I upset him. If you could speak to him, draw out the truth, I would be immensely grateful. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boot. So, the disgusting pig sent you to bother me. One day, I'll tear his face apart so he can leave me alone. <laughs> My father doesn't know anything about me. But I know about him, and about the war. More than he might think. This castle is old. Lots of places nobody's been in a long while. Places where you can overhear things, see things. And the Whispering Lady. She won't tell me her name. I've gotten good at listening to keyholes. At the door in the basement, I hear her talking to me. I thought I was caught, but she started telling me even more secrets. But I can't open the door. In the basement. Trust me, you'll see it. I bet she'll talk to you too. All right then. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake. someone more fit to carry out my will. The child is spirited but lacks agency. The boy is good at sussing out secrets, but the corruptibility of children is ultimately too limited for my purposes. You, though, I expect will prove far more malleable. I forgive your not knowing my name. Few can hear my whispers anymore. I am Mephala, the Lady of Whisper. I tug at the web of connections between mortals. Love, hatred, loyalty, betrayal. First, you must open this door. A piece of my power has been locked away behind it. And even my eyes cannot see past the seals. I'd much rather it be in the hands of an ambitious and talented person, such as yourself. The whole of Whiterun is ripe with paranoia and tensions, 
The Jarl's court is right to fear the power I hold behind this door. The Jarl trusts few, and they will be his undoing. The Dark Child knows of what I speak. Let him guide your path. Wait, I know you. All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taken to fight to the storm. You. You know the Whispering Lady, don't you? I can tell. I told you, I know everything about this castle. For some reason, that door is special. Only two people can open it. Balgroof and Farangar, the court wizard. How you get it from them is up to you. Nobody would notice if Farangar went missing, I promise you. Bye. <coughs> I serve Jarl Balgroof as steward. Divine smile. Excellent work. Now, I trust you're sharp enough to see that the sword doesn't match the description of the ebony blade you may know. It has languished too long outside the winds of alliance and betrayal. To return to its past glory, it must first Drink the blood of deceit. Your world is admirably seeped in lies and inclinations. My blade is a darling leech that feeds on deceptions and nourishes its master. Seek out those closest to you. The final pluck of their misguided heartstrings will accompany my blade in the song of your grandeur. <laughs> <laughs>